beautiful astrology soulmates. It's me, Stormy Grace, and welcome to your horoscope for the week of June 8th, where this week I have to tell you, first of all, it is phenomenally, beautifully busy on the eat and greets this week. We have visitors over every day this week, starting with Arlen Weiss at the beginning of the week. Then we've got Robert Weinstein coming, doing some medical astrology on Wednesday. Spencer Michelle will be here. We'll be bringing these planets to life and showing them to you from a couple different perspectives. And then when we get to Thursday, we will have Felina over talking about Chiron since Chiron is preparing to take a retrograde as well. So busy, beautiful week on the eat and greets. I hope you will join us all week long. Now up in the sky in the cosmos some things that are going on this week is that it can be a little bit like you're walking through a bit of a fog this week. So we want to just be a little bit mindful of that as we're moving around this week because the energy of Neptune and the sun coming together this week kind of creates this energy that is a little bit of a challenge under their square where you're maybe not seeing things the way that they need to be seen. It could even be issues of your immune system. We can see immune system in a global way um, going a little bit crazy or feeling like it's a little bit under attack. So there could also be an energy this week where you do feel like, oh, I need a deep breath. Let's take a little bit of downtime or let me just take it easy and breathe. And I think that that is a really, really good place to go with everything happening this week. So let's talk about this. Now, if you want daily updates, make sure you're following me on either Facebook or Instagram. Instagram, and there's where you'll get the deeper daily updates as well. But beginning this week, we're coming in with the moon starting in the energy of Capricorn, but then switching here Monday into the energy of Aquarius. Now, the energy of Aquarius is more independent, right? more freedom seeking. So right here at the beginning of the week, we are wanting this freedom, but the energy of Aquarius is also the energy of just the individual and what the individual adds to the whole. So as we're traveling here on Monday and the moon is in that questioning space, it's going to be asking you to take a minute and evaluate what makes you unique. What is your individual contribution to this whole? Also, where do you show up in that? Where does your voice show up in public, in your community um, for some kind of greater good? This is a beautiful energy to start our week with and to have those questions being put on, put on us to be able to answer them. Now, as we get to Tuesday here, we see the moon still in the energy of Aquarius and traveling and bonking into other planets kind of all day long. But at the beginning of the day, the moon in Aquarius is going to square Uranus who's in Taurus. Now Uranus is the ruling energy of Aquarius. So in some ways this is kind of favorable. Both um, Aquarian energy and Tauran energy are both fixed energies. So even though this is a square, there is a similarity to the components of it. But ultimately what I think this means is that someplace in the big of society, the big of what does make you unique, your own voice, organizations, causes, the things that make you feel free. Like remember, this is moon energy. Energy. And it's taking on squaring this Uranian energy in Taurus, which is shaking up our values, right? It's shaking up things in our material space here. So this doesn't necessarily make you feel grounded and settled. Instead, this can add to this energy of wanting to break out, break free, do something different. Let's rebel. Let's go against the cause. That's the energy that it pushes. Now, even though we've got a square happening at that time, if you can get past 1.30 in the afternoon, and this is when we're talking Eastern Standard Time, okay? From 1.30 in the afternoon all the way to the rest of the day, you actually have some really nice energy to finish up things. Bring things to culmination. Um, make connections maybe with people or with organizations or with ideas that you've been feeling like you've been lacking some information there. This is a wonderful investigative time, so definitely dig into it. Now, what it's not going to be great for after 1.30 in the afternoon is going to be starting all of these new projects. The energy is not solid for that. We come into the space of a void, of course, moon until the moon gets busy moving on. So I would tell you, Finish things up as we get here to Tuesday, Wednesday, you have a little bit more freedom to move things forward. 
Now we've got our annual Sun and Neptune square happening right here on Thursday, June 11th. And as these two come together, the sun is light, heat, life, and vitality. It's brimming. It's beaming over here. It's We're motivated. We want to move. There's a lot of energy happening here. And as it squares this Neptunian energy, what happens is we start to feel a little bit of a confusion. Wait, is this the thing I'm really passionate about? Wait. I'm kind of unmotivated. It's almost like at this point in the day for the next couple days, you're like, I may be even allergic to motivation. You know, <laughs> it can just be an energy that feels a little bit more confusing. And again, this is an energy when the sun squares Neptune, where truly our bodies can feel the tension or feel the hit of it. So if you're not hydrated, you're not sleeping, you're not walking, you're not moving, you're not doing the things that care for you and your immune system to include your skin. Remember, your skin is your first defense with your immune system. So make sure that you're taking care of here because we've got to fight everything that's out there from seasonal allergies to everything else from the inside out. Now this energy will last for the next couple days, but what it does that is helpful in this square, because I do believe that squares are relatively helpful as well. They do motivate us to move, right? It forces you to dig in, tap in, sharpen your intuition, sharpen that vision that you want going forward, because it's almost like you cannot stand the idea of just staying right here. Things cannot stay the same. So I actually think this is a wonderful square to push you towards the vision, push you towards the intuition. What's next? What's the adjustment? Where's home for you, right? It's all an energy of like regrounding. As we continue to travel through the week, then we have got Mars adding some heat to this Neptune situation. So on Saturday, June 13th, we see Mars coming along here adding his energy into Neptune, right? As they come into their official conjunction there in the energy of Pisces. Now, Mars in Pisces is like running in water in the first place. I talked about it. And if you've ever done water aerobics, it's really great, right? You're going to get your heart rate up. The body's active. That's really great. But you're not going anywhere very quickly, right? Like you are just kind of running in place, getting the blood pumping. Now, as this comes together with the deepening watery energy of Neptune, um, Mars wants to take action and he's rooting some things up. He's bringing up some things from the past. He's bringing up some things from the subconscious. And in the energy of Pisces, what he can also be bringing are deals, ideas, opportunities that are not necessarily the best for you. So you're going to want to really be paying attention to any agreements you make. Um, if that old person in your life comes back looking for money, um, if you got people at your house who aren't paying their rent, this is a wonderful time to be moving these people along. Say, you're over here taking, not giving. This is not good for me. This comes from a place that is a lower vibration. You're going to go ahead and want to move on. It just decepts the energies, right? It makes it very, it's like running in water, you guys. Now, this is also a beautifully creative energy, right? Vision boarding, retreating, meditating. I even think if you do taxes, finance, something that's very detail oriented, if you do that in a creative way, it's almost like it sings to you. The work begins to sing to you. Wonderful time for astrology. I think that if you, you want to do some astrology or anything in the metaphysics, this is a wonderful energy to tap into. Other things I'm just going to mention to avoid if you can this week. Drugs, alcohol, any of the escapee behaviors, Netflix till you die. Now, it's different if you're having a casual drink and you can drink without issue. It's different if you're Netflixing and even binge Netflixing. Just don't completely run out and escape, right? Now, Mars also does rule over the energy of sex. I just want to put that out there. That's why I said if the X is coming back, um, it's combined together here with Neptune. So it's like, oh my gosh, this is like the notebook. This is the most romantic story ever. Oh, this time we're going to do it and they're going to stay. If that has not been your reality, that might not be your reality. So wherever you've gone with your Mars energy that hasn't stuck before, be mindful this week that it might be more of a delusion than a solution to something going forward, okay?
All right, you guys, it's going to be a brilliant week around here. Lots still going on. We're getting heavy into eclipse time. We've already had our first one. Brian Coulter will be here next week. We're going to discuss the solar eclipse as well. Then we've got Rick Levine coming back because we had such a crazy ride when he was over the first time. So he will be back coming at the end of the month as well. Elizabeth Grace, just lots of people coming to teach and talk about astrology and make it accessible to you. So just come on by and access it here, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Have an absolutely beautiful week. Remember that June 20th is the solstice, so the solstice gifts will be out as well. They are limited in number, but as soon as they're out, you can start to book your sessions if you need some check-ins, okay? I love you guys a ton, and I look forward to seeing you next week and in all of the eat and greets and the videos that come next. Bye, everyone.